supposed to come in at 10 o'clock, so we came in at 8.30, and then we punched in at 9 o'clock. It's 9.47. We just finished up our first container movement of the day. This was a full 40-foot container. I picked it up at our terminal. at our terminal this morning and uh, brought it over here to the shipping terminal, Sand Island. There's a uh, full container going to Guam. So this is going to head off to Guam sometime today. I think or tomorrow probably. So yeah, the weekend went by in a blur. The the big boxes are 24-7, so somebody has to deliver to them on the weekends. It's, it's pretty easy work, but it's it's like a split shift work. So you do four hours in the midday and then four hours late at night. So it messes up the weekend a little bit. A few things done, not much. Look at the weather today, it's kind of gray and hazy. So, setup gave us the siren, and then they also gave us a load of, uh, I think it's coffee beans. Uh, yeah, green coffee beans headed out to a coffee roaster in the Campbell Industrial Area. So, that'll be our next stop.
make sure it's empty and then uh, take it back to the shipping terminal. Sand Island, that's uh, about 23 miles from here. Working on our fifth movement of the day after we took that empty from the Campbell Industrial Area back to the shipping terminal. We picked up an LTL, 40,000 pounds of consolidated freight. We took that back to our terminal, put it on dock one, and then we hooked up to this empty 45 foot container that was delivered to the big boxes last night. I think this came from the Alawana store. Taking it back to the shipping terminal, Sand Island.
way back here to the shipping terminal, stripping it off at strip pile four, stack two. So we were scheduled at 10, we came in at 8.30, we started at 9, we did 7 container movements, we drove 74 miles. Pretty typical day. I noticed on the schedule, I'm scheduled to work tomorrow night with the, the, um, the mall deliveries. So that's uh, usually non-CDL work. They do the, the bulk of that, but sometimes if there's a big uh, orders we'll use a trailer and um, then, then they need a CDL driver back back when we first started doing the the malls at night I think it was all CDL drivers back then I don't think we had non CDL trucks at that time and so everybody at least had a B license and it was primarily B license drivers that were doing them the malls but we didn't have enough B license drivers so so half the A drivers and half the B drivers would do the malls. And um, over time, we found that the non-CDL trucks 
did a much better job. And so now we have quite a few non-CDL trucks and non-CDL drivers, and they handle the majority of that night work. And uh, I'm super thankful for that, because I did not like working at night. In fact, I might make that a part of my, <laughs> my uh, decision to stay with the company is to not work nights and weekends anymore. Because uh, as I get older, it just, it just messes with your head a little bit. It makes you, it's not fuzzy, it's just, it just something doesn't feel like it should, you know. I, I think I want to use the word biorhythms. It's, it's kind of like my bio clock is out of whack. And so you just don't feel like you're all there, sort of. So I'm going to bring that up with a... Uh, management when I get a chance to talk to them seriously <laughs> but in the meantime I, I have no problem doing any kind of work day or night it's just that uh, I prefer to work you know five to five in the day and, and in my mind if you can't get it done between five to five and in the day you probably should try it because that's when the best workers and the best work gets done the work at night just seems to be I don't know different <laughs> lazier just there's no there's no real uh, I don't know quality of work seems to slip a little bit in other words you don't find your best drivers working at night so as a result um, you're surrounded by people that to them it's a part-time job or they you know this is the only job they can get or you know it's a it's a different different um, mindset but that's it for today we did our our we come in nine nine to three what is that six uh, seven hours seven hours seven movements gonna head on home got it's pasta not pasta it's tofu Monday so we did a stir fry a while back with fish and shrimp and tofu. That was really good. And so I'm gonna just do that again. Um, try, try to make it even better. Sometimes you eat something and you say, you know, this would be a little bit better maybe if we had taken the tofu out and then reintroduced it in the end. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. But that is it for today. We'll be back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Aloha.